Hello and good morning YouTube! It's Banded Wendy and I had to highlight one of my tools that I use as a reward and motivation at the same time for getting my exercise going. This is my new running skirt. I saw one of these at the uh, 5K I did in Huntington Beach back in February and uh, I really wanted to get one but I was like, I can't run in a skirt. But it's shorts underneath, right? So I've got these little shorts on. And then it's a skirt. Um, so this is my new workout outfit. A medium sized jacket. Which I'm very excited about. This top is so tight. Um, but it gives me all the more reason to be at the gym. Um, and it's my skin. And like Judy said, I think I'm going to keep it close to me. It's very close to me. So, and... You know, I'm working it. I'm not Soldier Girl, but uh, she's someone I watch on YouTube who's just hot and amazing. Um, but I'm up. It's Saturday morning. I feel great. I'm going to the gym. Uh, day three of my liquid diet. I'm down to 165 pounds. Uh, 20 pounds to my goal. Only 20 more pounds to my goal. So I'm on fire today. Again, I'm holding on to it, and the liquid diet's doing me right. Uh, I think I had 1,070 calories yesterday and uh, 73 grams of protein with liquids. So uh, get out there. You know, I've been watching a lot of videos. It's springtime now on some of the East Coast and Midwest. Um, put those shoes on and walk to the stop sign and walk back, and then maybe later on today or tomorrow, walk to the next stop sign, walk back. Whatever you got to do to get moving. And I got to tell you, if I'm walking and I'm, not, and I'm not running, which I do do on the treadmill. I ran a 40-minute, I had a 40-minute 5K earlier this week. Um, and that's because I walked some of it and I ran some of it. Uh, I have a, been running a lot and my hips kind of out of whack. But you know what? I smile when I'm walking and I raise those arms and I'm determined. Just as determined as I am when I'm running. I don't smile when I run. But when I walk... I smile. So get that body moving, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye. Hey, guys. It's me. Back from the gym. And I'll tell you what. The skirt, uh, uh, it's fun, and I think it's fast. I had a great, great, great uh, run today and an awesome workout. I finished my third strength training session of the week. Um, and I'm at 12 and a half miles ran, and I'll do another uh, 5K run tomorrow. So it'll put me a little over 15 and a, 15 and a half, almost uh, 16 miles for the week by the time I'm done. So, um, uh, you know, uh, we all have to look for motivation uh, for exercise. And uh, I got to tell you, it comes from within. Um, I've had uh, many days this week where I was like, ah, I don't want to do the work, you know, but I have to force myself. And uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, for those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, uh, I doubt you would say that this has been a hard journey for me. I think that you would say that uh, I've done a lot of hard work. Uh, physically and mentally, uh, and it is, or has, and continues to pay off. But um, I, I guess I just want to make it clear for those of you who are new to watching me, you know, I'm not crying over here saying this is a hard thing to do. Uh, I am my hardest uh, critic. I am the one who pushes myself the most, more than anybody. Uh, in my world, right? Um, nobody else really cares if I lose the weight uh, and I make my, my dreams and goals realities but me. And, uh, you know, uh, I follow those rules, you know, and so when I say that I follow those rules, uh, there's days where following those rules are easy, but let me tell you, when you follow those rules more than 365 days in a row, uh, you're going to find that <laughs> it's tough, you know, and uh, uh, and uh, I want to document it for myself, and I hope that, uh, and I believe that it has given, uh, given many of you strength and encouragement and hope and faith and belief, uh, not only in the lap band, but yourself. And if you're watching this and you haven't decided which weight loss surgery to do, if you're not willing to dedicate exercise and right food choices 99.9% .9 of the time, 
A lap band is probably not the right weight loss surgery for you. That's my opinion. Um, so, yeah, uh, you don't know what it's like until you're on the other side, right? You, you, you know, we have, I know, I know, you know, we have all these dreams and hopes and expectations before we have weight loss surgery that it's the ultimate cure-all, end-all, be-all thing that's going to make us perfect. Um, it's only a piece of it, at least with the lap band. Uh, so, you know, be prepared, uh, know that you're going to have days, um, where your mental self has to catch up with your physical self, or your physical self has to catch up with your mental self, and, um, you know, that part is hard, you know, uh, but not hard like I'm going to give up and never do it again, but hard like, I got to do it, I want to do it, I'm going to do it, uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, I love my lap band, uh, I love all the changes that my life has had, I love all the changes my body has had, um, but I've worked for it. Uh, it did not come easy, and thus the journey is hard in that way. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that, and, uh, you know, uh, 20 pounds from my goal, guys, 20 pounds from my goal. So, anyway, I'm going to be cooking some soup up this weekend, too. Hope you're all having a great day. Catch you later. Bye. Hello, YouTube. It is I again, Banded Wendy. I think this will be the three-part video from today. But this is my outfit, a size medium from Target. My size 8 jeans, right? And I went to a couple different places today uh, and uh, had the same experience in each location, which is really cool. Um, one, I went to a first uh, birthday party for my friend's uh, son and uh, had not seen the people that I had seen in at least a year and a half. And they were all very complimentary to me and said how great I looked and um, that was really cool. And then I went to my old nail salon. Uh, which I haven't been to probably for six months. And uh, they were like, Oh my goodness, Miss Wendy, oh my, you look so young, so thin. So that was really cool. And then I went to a, an old workplace where I used to work. I haven't been there for six years. And actually when I worked there, I weighed around 270 pounds, um, which was close to 30 pounds more than I weighed when I started the lap band procedure, uh, the pre-op diet, and uh, all the old folks were still there, all my old uh, co-workers were still there, and every single one of them at least three times were like, oh my god, look at you, you look so great, so, you know, there's a little bit more motivation, and I have to say, uh, at the party, nobody asked me what I was doing, um, at the nail salon, uh, nobody asked me what I was doing. Uh, but I'm a year out, so there's the difference in the last six months that I've gone through. But at the former employee, everybody wanted to know what I was doing. And I'm usually pretty out there and open and say I had the lap band, but you all know I go the backward story. I run 15 to 18 miles a week. I eat 1,000 calories or less a day. I eat three small meals and one cup containers a day. I drink 64 ounces of water a day. I get 60 to 80 grams of protein a day. <clears throat> I take vitamins every day and supplements every day. Uh, and, uh, oh, and I had the lap band in March 2009. But those are people that I usually know. And since I have not even spoken or emailed or seen any of these people for six months, I'm sorry, six years, I just said, I'm a runner. I run a lot and I really count my calories. Uh, so, you know, there's different times and different places when you're going to tell the whole story and how you're going to tell it. But I had a great day and uh, had a lot of fun and I encourage you all <coughs> to find a way to see some people you haven't seen in a long time. Because when we look at ourselves every day, we don't see the changes, but others will. So anyway, happy Easter tomorrow. Talk to you all later. Bye.